If you're a boiler service technician, there are three tools that you must have. Now, granted, when you go into a plant or a factory, they're maintenance guys and they have screwdrivers and they have wrenches and hopefully they have ladders. So you're not hauling those in and out everywhere you go. But there's three things that you really should have. Uh, first, a multimeter. I'm not saying that they don't ha they're not gonna be able to find one in the factory, but if you're doing any troubleshooting on a boiler at all, you're gonna need a meter, and you want to use a meter that you are very familiar with, because borrowing a multimeter is, can be a problem. If you're not familiar with the settings, et cetera, um, you know, some have plugins that are removable, some don't, some beep automatically when you're doing continuity testing, some you have to hit the select button to get the beep to work. You know, basically we want the home court advantage when we're using a meter because we need accuracy and precision. The second thing we've got to have if we're a combustion technician is a combustion analyzer. Uh, the days of just eyeballing combustion are long gone. Um, we've got new emissions requirements, we've got higher fuel costs, so if you're going to touch the linkage on a boiler, um, even to you know reset air at low fire better for the pilot, you've got to have a combustion analyzer to verify and document what you've done. Uh, we don't want to make carbon monoxide, we don't want to have incomplete combustion, we don't want to have unstable combustion. So the analyzer is going to ensure that we can, once again, verify what we've done. And the last one that's not as obvious, um, but it's combustion related as well, and troubleshooting related, are manometers and gauges. So a good digital manometer is far more reliable if you use it every day than a gauge that's existing on a fuel train because everything works till the day it breaks and that gauge may or may not be trustworthy. So bringing your own gauges, and that's perfectly fine, um, bringing a digital manometer that's appropriately ranged for what you're testing, that in my opinion is better. Um, and with some of the new technology, you can Bluetooth directly to your phone and trend pressures over time. So the ability to do that may be the difference between catching instability coming out of a regulator that could cause issues. But basically, this is the core. We've got to have a boiler working electrically. We've got to have combustion correct. And we need a manometer so we can verify rate and that we're at the, in the proper range for checking switches and things like that. So those are really the three key that you shouldn't leave home without.